And it seems like no one understands. But just having a little talk with Jesus. Because you can tell him all about it. You can tell him everything. And don't have to worry about him telling no one else. Isn't God good? We want to thank God for blessing us to be back in this service. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We want to bless him for blessing us to be back in this service one more time. He has been mighty good to all of us. Hasn't he been good? He's been better to us than we have been to ourselves. And we should give him the praise and we could give him thanks and we should give him the glory because he is worthy, as the writer said, to be praised. Uh, we should give him the praise and thanks uh, uh, while we can, uh, recognizing that one day on this side of eternity, we will not be able to praise him, but thank God. Living faithful unto death, we shall sing and praise him forever on the other side. And are you ready for the other side? We need to be ready at all times for the other side because Jesus said that he's coming back. And the scripture said, we don't know when he's coming, uh, but we know that he's coming back and so we should be ready. And if you are not ready, you need to uh, get ready. And, of course, uh, we ought to serve him and give him praise and, and just thank him for being so good to all of us. And, of course, um, we know that he is good because we're here on today. We would like to take this opportunity to welcome our visitors and our visiting friends. We are glad to have you here in our audience. We thank God for you. We praise you for being here and you're not here by accident recognizing that uh, God doesn't work by accident you're here through his providence and he must want you to be here for something and of course uh, we are in the soul saving business and uh, saving souls and keeping souls saved and if you're not saved then we can do something about that right now to be saved all you have to do is hear the gospel of Christ and believe the same and be willing to repent, turn from the life that you're living now and confess Christ to be God's son. And then be buried uh, in the water of baptism for the remission of your sins. Rising to walk in a newness of life. The Lord will save you and add you to his church, the church of Christ. To stay saved, all you have to do is live faithful unto death. A faithful, dedicated life. Until death, Revelation 2.10, uh, uh, John out on the Isle of Patmos said to uh, uh, the church there, Be thou faithful until death. Faithful until death. Not faithful until you get tired. Not faithful until you get upset with somebody. Not faithful until, uh, but he said, be faithful until death. And um, he said, you will receive a crown of life. And uh, we just thank God for being back uh, in the service here. Uh, we was in uh, 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 Texas on last Sunday morning. Uh, they had two worship services like we had, and we had a great time there. And on last Saturday, we had about 130 or 25 brothers that... Uh, we did a workshop with on spiritual leadership, spiritual leadership. And when I got to thinking about that, I need to come back home and do uh, that workshop here. We had a great time, uh, and we want to thank God for Brother uh, Gibbs um, and uh, the elders of that congregation for the hospitality that they extended to me while I was there, and of course, I heard that you had a great time here. We have no trouble be recognizing that Brother Al going to bring the lesson on Sunday morning. Let's give Brother Al a hand. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And, uh, Brother Al and uh, Nisha, y'all stand. They had a birthday this past week. Y'all stand. Let's give, them a, uh, let's give them a love deposit. They had a birthday. Praise the Lord. 
Isn't that wonderful? I'm telling you, uh, these birthdays are rolling around, and we, we're just thankful to this young man and young lady. We appreciate them so very, very much. And uh, just continue to wish them. And uh, they, are, they are taking birthday presents and gifts and, and accolades. They are taking that, okay? And uh, uh, they, they're not refusing that. Uh, and so you can wish them a happy birthday. That's good. Uh, but uh, uh, encourage the preacher. Always encourage, uh, encourage the preacher. Uh, and his wife and family, they need encouraging. And of course, uh, we had a great leadership planning retreat on Friday and, and also all day on yesterday. Um, uh, we thank God for our leadership. We thank God for our leadership. Uh, we, 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 have, uh, uh, we have some, some, some great men on our team. We are a team. Uh, we got a team, a leadership. And, 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 and I said we got, uh, 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 we have, uh, I said that we have a great leadership team, not a perfect leadership team. Uh, uh, yeah, but we got a great leadership team. Uh, when we look at leaderships all over the country, um, I, I want to commend our, our leadership. We had a great time uh, together. Together we intend to be winners uh, in this Christian race. Um, uh, that we are in. The Bible tells us that we are in a, in a, in a race. Uh, and uh, we're not in a 50-yard dash. We are in a marathon. We, we, we have to just keep on keeping on. And um, until, until Jesus comes. I want to thank God uh, for each of our leaders and their uh, families. And especially, as I said, I want to thank God for Brother, Brother Al and his family. Uh, um, and uh, we appreciate them so much. A few weeks ago, our country, we had the, uh, what we call the Thanksgiving, the beginning of the holiday season. And, um, um, uh, uh, you know, isn't it good when families and friends can come together and, 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 and thank God and, 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 and fellowship together? Thanksgiving usually marked the beginning of the holiday season. People, some people get crazy during this time. Uh, Thanksgiving uh, uh, and the so-called Christmas and the New Year's Day. And I know somebody said, here you go again. I will go again. During this time of year, many things take place, both good and bad. Weren't that uh, sad about the man in Pensacola? Uh, another mass shooting? Uh, and, and, and we don't know, we don't know, we don't know from one day or to the other as to what's going to take place. And that's why we need to always be ready. The other song says, be ready when he come. 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 Oh, he's coming again so soon. Be ready when he come. Be ready when he come. Be ready when he come. Oh, he's coming again so soon. Don't let him catch you with your work undone. Don't let him catch you with your work undone. Don't let him catch you with your work undone. Amen. Again so soon. Be ready when he come. Be ready when he come. Be ready when he come. Oh, he's coming again so soon. Are you ready? Are you ready? Now somebody's shocked. Somebody's just sitting there just shocked. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As Christians. Um, we need to be uh, careful and not get caught up in the hype and the things that are contrary 
uh, to how we should live during this time of year. The devil is very smart and will get uh, you caught up into the affairs of the world until you will be right back in the world. Parties are going on. Uh, all kinds of, of commotion is going on uh, in our town, in our society. As Christians, we are in the world, but we are not of the world. We're in the world, but we're not of the world. Praise the Lord. First Peter said in First Peter 5, 8, he said, be vigilant. Be, he says, uh, be sober, be vigilant. Because uh, your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh. He's not running. He's walking. He's taking his time. He, he walketh about seeking whom he may devour. We are uh, to be different from the world since the uh, becoming Christian. We are, we are to be different uh, from the world. People ought to know that we are different. They ought to see that we are different. Uh, they, they ought to feel that we are different. Uh, the Bible tells us we are different because the English translation of the New Testament, uh, 1 Peter 2, 9 said, but you are a chosen race. You're chosen, we are chosen race, a, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of God's own, uh, so that you may proclaim the virtues of the one who called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. The 10th verse says, you once were not a people. He said, but now you are God's people. Praise the Lord. We are God's people now. And you were shown no, uh, and you were shown uh, no mercy, uh, but, but now you have received mercy. Praise the Lord. Then he says, dear friend, in the 11th verse, I urge you as foreigners and exiles um, um, to keep away from fleshly desires. Yeah, that do battle against the soul. And then he says, and maintain good conduct among non-Christian. Maintain good conduct among non-Christian so that uh, through though they may, uh, they now uh, malign you as a wrongdoer, uh, they may see you and uh, see your good deeds and glorify God when he appears. Each year during this time, many uh, I want to know what do we believe about Christmas and how should we behave? There are those who will tell you that we don't believe in Christmas. And, and by the way, this is for my new members and visitors who uh, want to know. And for those who are trying to explain uh, and don't know how to explain it. And so if you've heard this before, you're going to do what you want to do anyway. So I need my new members and the new members, I need for them to understand it. I need for them to understand it. Uh, um, there are those who will uh, tell you that we don't believe in Christmas. And others, even some Christian members of the Lord's church, will confuse new members trying to explain what we believe about Scripture. Uh, ever since I've been minister of the congregation 46 years ago, I have tried to explain from the pulpit uh, what the Bible has to say about Christmas and what uh, the Bible doesn't say uh, about Christmas. First of all, uh, the Bible doesn't say a thing in the world about Christmas as we know it, but it does say uh, a lot about the birth of Christ. And there is a difference. Uh, there is a difference. And so I want you to listen, and, and, and I want my new members to listen so you understand and, 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 know, um, um, and, and know this year is, is no different. I want the new members to know the truth about the Christmas and so-called. Uh, and there will be no misunderstanding about what the Bible has to say about uh, uh, the birth of Christ and what we believe. We believe in the birth of Christ, first of all. 
We believe in the birth of Christ. I want to get that off your chest because a lot of times there are Christian members of the church, uh, like Sister Jackson, they wanted to know about the, uh, wanted to know about it before they got baptized over 40 some years ago. And I just had a new member the other day that asked me about this. But we're trying to get them into the church. They want to ask me about this. And I don't have no problem in explaining it because it is in the Bible. It's what the Bible says. And uh, we believe in the birth of Jesus Christ into this world because the Bible tells us so. It was prophesied, the Bible, the, the prophecy of Christ coming into the world um, in uh, about eight, seven, eight hundred years before Jesus ever uh, was born into the world. For we ever were conceived. And Isaiah, uh, that was read before us. In Isaiah 9, 6, it says, for unto us a child is born. And unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. Or his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Isn't he wonderful? A wonderful Savior. And his name would be called, uh, and he shall be called a counselor. You can't find a better counselor than Jesus Christ. If you need counseling this morning, you need to go into your secret closet and talk, have a little talk with Jesus. Isn't that right? He's the best counselor in the world. You can, you, he, he can counsel you. He, he, he's, a, he's a counselor. And then not only that, he's a counselor, but the Bible says he is a mighty God. He's not just a God, but he's a mighty God. And I like that. I like that. that he's a mighty God. And then, not only that, but he's the everlasting father. He's the everlasting father. You may not have a father uh, uh, in your life, but God can be your father. Isn't that right? He, he's the everlasting father. And not only that, he's the prince of peace. He's the prince of peace. Now, now the 25th uh, day of December as being his birthday, that's something else. His birth was carried out. That prophecy that I just read was carried out in the New Testament as we can read it. Here's what the Bible teaches here, since you want to know what we teach. In uh, Matthew 1 18, it says, Now, nah, and uh, uh, you might want to read, Brother Al, he, he Brother Al liked to read. Um, uh, he, he said, now this day, you said, you like to read, so I'm going to let you read. Uh, one of the things I learned about Brother Al, Brother Al said, I like to read. See, I don't understand everything I read, but I just like to read anyway. Uh, but I just like to read. And Matthew 1, 18, what it said? Now the birth of Jesus Now Christ. the birth of Jesus Christ. Now we believe in the birth of Jesus Christ. Yes. Because the Bible said the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. Was on this wise or this way. Okay, read. When as his mother Mary, when as his mother Mary was espoused, was to, Joseph, espoused to Joseph before they came together. Before they came together, she was found with child. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. Then now, Joseph, this is the Holy Ghost child. Now, okay. now this is the Holy Ghost child. This, 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 this is not an ordinary child. It was an ordinary child. Uh, it was a, it was an ordinary child, but he was a Holy Ghost child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read, and he says, uh, "Then Joseph, then her husband, Joseph, her husband, being a just man, being a just man, and not willing to make her a, a just public. man." You know, ladies, let me tell you something. If you're gonna marry, <laughs> find you a just man. Yeah, a just man will treat you just right. Ain't, ain't, ain't that right? A just man. How many people here got a just man? How many, how many here got a, a just man? You see, because a just man will treat you right. Yes, 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 yes. A just man. And brothers, you ought to strive to be a just man. Maybe that's why you're not married yet, because you're not a just man. I didn't say a yes man, but a just man. 
You see, you got some yes men, but you got, but, 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 but Joseph was a yes man, read. And not willing to make her a public example. <laughs> see, a, a, a yes man would treat his wife right, isn't that right? He'll treat his wife right. He didn't want to make her a public example because she done come up pregnant. She done come up pregnant now, and he hadn't been there, done that. He hadn't been there now, now, but now, but you know, it's something about love. You see, it's something about love. You better get you a man that's gonna love you. You see, you see, because you know everything not gonna work all like it's supposed to work all of the time. But if you got a just man, he will love you anyway. Run your mouth, I love you anyway. Act crazy, I love you anyway. You know, won't cook for me, I love you anyway. I whatever, I love you anyway. That's what a just man will do. Do I have some just men here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and, 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 and Joseph, read on, read on, brother, read on. Was minded to put her away. He was privately. minded to put her away. He, 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 uh, he was going to put her away uh, privately. That was a just man would do. He won't put your business in the streets. A jazz man won't, won't go out there putting your business all in the street and everything and talk about his wife and everything. Joseph, privately, I don't know what's going on, but I know I hadn't been there, done that, something wrong, but I love this woman. Yeah, 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 he said, I love her. And so he's going to do, but read on, read on. He said, but, but while he thought on these while things. While he thought on these things. Then let me tell you something, brother, don't be so quick to jump to conclusion. You know, we, 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 we jump to conclusion too quick about things. We, you know, everything ain't like it look. <laughs> Isn't that right? It, it's not what it look like, you know. It, it, now, it look bad, but everything that look bad is not bad. Isn't that right? Praise the Lord. You got some, you, you got some bad looking, Lord have mercy, but it ain't bad. <laughs> Yeah, it look bad. <laughs> well, read, brother. Huh? Behold, <laughs> read on. The angel of the Lord appeared. The, unto the him. angel of the Lord appeared unto him. If you just give it a little time, brothers, sisters, give it a little time. Give it a little time. Just, just give it some time. You don't see Joseph getting all upset and getting mad and go running off and everything. Talking about she done did me like this and done broke my heart and all of that kind of stuff. I just thought like this here. Hey, man, let me tell you something. He was a just man. And this just man, uh, he gave it some time. Some people right here right now need to give something some time right now. You need to give it some time. Give it some time. Just, just slow down. Slow down. You're going too fast. Think about it. And then he says, here, read. He says, he says, the angel did what? Of the Lord appeared unto him. Of the Lord appeared unto in, him in, in a, a dream. dream. Saying, Joseph. Hold it, hold it, hold it. It was the angel of the Lord. Now, you know, the devil got some angels too. And you better make sure that you listen to the right angel. You see them, that's why you need to give it some time because God, the angel of the Lord, because the devil angel will tell you something that won't work right. And so the angel of the Lord, read, read. Saying, Joseph, thou son of David. Joseph, son of David, read. Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy fear wife. Fear not, fear not, fear not, read. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Is of the Holy Ghost. That's a Holy Ghost, baby. He, he said, that's a Holy Ghost, baby. You, 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 you ain't got nothing to do with this one now. This, 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 this is a Holy Ghost, baby. And, 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 and so, so, so now Joseph here, uh, being a just man, may not have understood everything. But let me tell you something. You don't have to know, understand everything uh, to listen. You have to understand everything. Listen, read. And she shall bring forth a and, son. And, and she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. And you shall call his name Jesus. That's what we believe in. We believe that he was born of the Virgin Mary. We believe that his name was called Jesus. Read. 
for he shall save his people. Lord have mercy, for he shall save sins. his people from their sin. And that's what we believe, that Jesus came into this world to save his people from their sin. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that Jesus came into the world to save us from our sins? Save us from ourselves? And then uh, read on. Now all this was done. Now all of this was done. That it might be that fulfilled. That it might be fulfilled. Which was spoken, which of, the was Lord, spoken of, the of the Lord, Lord by the prophet, by the prophet Isaiah. The prophet said it seven or eight hundred years ago that Jesus was going to be born. Mm -hmm. Don't you tell us that we don't believe in the birth of Jesus Christ. Read on. He says here what? Behold, a virgin. The prophet said, Behold, a virgin shall be with a child. And shall bring forth a and son. And shall bring forth a son. And they shall call and his they name him Emmanuel, Emmanuel, which Jesus being what? Being interpreted, God is with us. Praise the Lord. God is with us. God incarnated in flesh. God put on flesh. God the Son. And, uh, um, and then the next verse says, and then Joseph. Being raised from sleep. And being a just man, being raised from sleep. Did as the angel of the Lord had as bidden him. the angel him. of the Lord bid him and, and took, took her unto, unto his, wife. his wife. Praise the Lord for Joseph. Do I have any Josephs here? Do I have any Joseph here? You better get you a Joseph, ladies. When you look for a man, you tell that man, I'm looking for a Joseph because I might mess up. And I want a Joseph that's going to love me even when I mess up. And then the Bible says in the next verse, and knew her not. And he knew her not. Didn't Till touch she, her. Didn't, didn't touch her. Yeah. Didn't, she, didn't, didn't even touch her till she brought, brought forth, forth her, firstborn, her son. firstborn son. And he called his name and Jesus. And he called his name Jesus. Called his name Jesus. Now, 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 that's what we believe about uh, the birth of Christ. As a matter of fact, in Luke, the second chapter, in Luke, the second chapter, uh, to, by the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. By the mouth of two or three witnesses. That's what Matthew said. Now, let's see what Luke said. Luke said in, the, in Luke, uh, uh, Luke, the second chapter, the, uh, beginning uh, at the first verse, read, it came to pass. In those days, in those days, that there went out a decree, went out a decree of Caesar Augustus, Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing and was taxing first made, first made with Cyrus, the governor of Syria. And all, and went, all to be went to be taxed. Everyone into his own Every city. Everyone to his own uh, uh, city. And I want to tell you something. They, uh, and, and, and I'm quite sure that uh, uh, people, uh, uh, they, 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 they paid the taxes and they, and they were able to reveal the taxes. But go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. He said, and Joseph... Go ahead on. Also went up, <laughs> also went up from Galilee. Out of the city out of, of Nazareth. The city of Nazareth. Praise the Lord. Every time I hear the word Nazareth, I can just picture being in Nazareth, preaching in Nazareth. I preached in Nazareth. Uh, Sister Jackson, y'all remember we did the sermon. I did the sermon there in Nazareth and everything. And uh, I never will forget that. That's indelibly printed on my mind. Um, Nazareth, the, 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 the birth of Jesus. So read on. Into Judea. Where he was grew up at least. Uh, and read. Uh, now the jury. Read. Unto the city of David. Unto, unto the city of David. Which is called, which Bethlehem, is called Bethlehem. Because, because he was, he was, was of, of the house of the lineage of, of David. David. Read. To be taxed with to Mary. To be taxed with Mary his and his, his, his spouse wife. wife being great with Being child. great with child. Now, now, this is Luke version of this. He wrote the history. He was a historian. And so now he is writing the history of this thing. Read. And so it was. And so it was that, that while they were while there. they was there. The days were the days were accomplished. That she should be delivered. That she should be delivered. That she should be delivered. The day had come. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. And, and uh, the day came. She was going to have this baby that has been uh, prophesied. I think the day came on last Friday with Candace. Then the day came on Friday or Saturday last week. The day came. 
And we want to congratulate them. We want to congratulate uh, the new parents. All oh, the day going to come. And let me tell you, I know you was glad when it came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, read on. And she brought forth her firstborn son. And she brought son, forth her firstborn son. And wrapped him in wrapped swaddling him clothes. In swaddling clothes and, and laid him, laid him in, a him in manger, a manger. Because there was no because there was no room in the inn. In and there were and in there the were same country shepherds, in the country shepherds abiding in the abiding field, in the field keeping, keeping watch, watch over the their flock, flock by night. By night. And lo, and lo the, the angels of the, of the Lord, Lord came, came upon, them, upon them, and the glory of the Lord, and the glory of the Lord shone, shone about them, them and, and they were so afraid. afraid. Mm -hmm. And the angels and said the unto angels them, said, there go that angel again, the angel said unto them, fear not, fear not, for behold, behold I bring you good I bring tidings, you good tidings, good joy, news, the great joy, which shall be, be to all the people, for unto, for unto you us, is there born, you go again, unto us. Mm -hmm. Uh, unto us, for is unto and uh, uh, for you mm -hmm. is born this, this day, day in the city of David, the city of David, a, a savior, savior, which is Christ the which Lord, which is called Christ uh, the Lord. And then he says, and this shall be a and sign, there shall unto be you. a sign unto you, and you, you shall, shall find the babe, find the babe wrapped in wrapped in swaddling and clothes, and lying in a manger. And suddenly, suddenly there was, there was a, with, with the, the angel, angel a multitude, a multitude of, of heavenly, heavenly hosts praising God, God and, saying, and saying glory to God in the to highest, God in the highest and on earth peace on earth and peace good will and good will towards men and it came to pass as the angels as the were angel gone away was going from away them, from them into, into heaven. heaven the shepherd said, the one, shepherd to said one to another let us, let us now, now even, to even Bethlehem. Uh, unto Bethlehem and see and this see thing, this which, thing has come which has come to pass which, which the Lord had made, made known, known unto, us. unto us got some witnesses here and they and came said, with haste. And they came with haste. And found Mary. And they found Mary. And Joseph. They found Joseph. And the babe. And they found the baby lying in, lying in a manger. And when they had oh, seen uh, it. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. I just want to stop right there. I want to take. Uh, if I was going to preach. <laughs> if I was going to preach. I, 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 I would take for a subject. What the Bible teach and what we believe uh, about Christmas and what can we do? What can we do? I'm quite sure that uh, uh, this being the church of Christ is the reason why you here is because you want the truth. You want the truth and nothing but the truth. Jesus said in John 8, 31 and 32, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciple indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And I'm quite sure that you want to be set free. We have too many people trapped in the bondage and the religious uh, of, of, of tradition, trapped in the bondage of religious tradition. And this is especially true when it comes to uh, Christians and, and the birth of Christ in bondage. People get stressed out between now and the first of the year because of the so-called Christmas. Stressed out. Just stressed out. Well, I'm going to relieve your stress this morning. If I was going to preach. Um, uh, many get in debt over their head. Uh, say, I hope you haven't spent your money yet because you don't have to go out there and get in debt over your head because of something man made up. Many get caught up in the excitement and the glitter of the world. The neighbor got their lights all going and you, I, man, I, my house looks so dull and everything. You don't have to get caught up in that stuff. You don't have to get caught up into that. Sometimes we think, do things because we don't want to be left out. Many get caught up in the excitement. Some people get depressed and never able to get over it. They get so depressed. So, so many suicides are committed during this time of year, during going into the new year. Many people die because of the stress of the holiday season. Uh, some people... Uh, get this distress. 
this lesson today may help somebody. It will set somebody free. It will set you free if you follow it. On the other hand, it may upset some people if I was going to preach. However, the truth must be told about the birth of Christ. It must be told. I just believe this morning someone wants to be set free. Free from the bondage of religious tradition and, and trying to be like the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Love of the world, the love of the flesh, the pride of life. These things are going to fast pass away. Uh, did you know that uh, 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 what I'm about to teach, if I was going to preach, would be liberated to some, shocking to others, and upsetting did you know that most Protestant churches did not begin celebrating the so-called Christmas until around the 19th century? Until around the 19th century is when even Protestant churches started celebrating the thing they call Christian. Go into history, Google it. Y'all y'all Googling now, everybody Google now. Everybody just Google. Don't you believe all that Google stuff now? I'm going to tell you that right now. Don't believe all that Google stuff. But, uh, but, uh, but, but we find that uh, most Protestant churches, they, they never, uh, uh, until the 19th century, when they started this type of stuff, called the celebration of the so-called Christmas on the 25th day of December, did not start in the Bible. Now, y'all getting quiet on me now. You're getting quiet on me now because I'm getting ready to mess with your Santa Claus. You're quiet on me now. Uh, it didn't start. It didn't even start until around the 19th uh, uh, century. And uh, in fact, most of them rejected, most of the Protestant churches out there, denomination the churches, they rejected the celebration because the Roman Catholic Church, which, uh, 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 which is an apostate church, uh, started. Uh, uh, the Catholic Church is an apostate church. It, it apostatized from the church of Christ that we read about in the Bible. It just went off. They just went off and started their own thing. They, uh, the Protestant churches, they, 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 they condemned it because they considered it as being uh, the trapping of the popery of the Pope. Uh, and since it meant uh, the, the mass of Christ, and what is the mass of Christ? The mass of Christ, meaning that Jesus is uh, being, uh, um, uh, you know, re-crucified. In other words, uh, in other words, Christmas comes from the word Christi Massey, an uh, old English word of the Feast of Nativity. And the mass is supposed to be the repetition of the, of the sacrifice of Christ on the cross of Calvary uh, for the sins of the world. That's what they said it is doing. The mass of Christ. The Catholic Church during that time of year uh, make a big to-do of it. Look at it on television. They go through all kinds of ceremony and what have you. And they are saying this is the mass of Christ. The mass is supposed, as I said, to be a repetition of the sacrifice of Christ on the cross of Calvary for the sins of the world. It is, the, the truth is that it was started by the Roman Catholic Church, Christmas. Not the Church of Christ that we read about in the Bible. They say that each time mass is read or said, Christ is supposed to be re sacrifice on the cross every time to read the mass he is re-sacrificed on the cross that erroneous teaching the mass is generally derived around midnight on the eve of December the 25th by the Roman Catholic Church and other denominations around the world and I you know when I really uh, it's been 23 years ago that I had my surgery this time of year. And I was lying in my den high as a kite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And I looked at that man all night long. I was high on cortisone or whatever they call it. I mean, I was high. And I walked. Yeah, I, I was, I just had quadruple bypass surgery and they was, they was giving me this uh, for my pain. And I learned in, I looked at that, I looked at that thing and it was a mess. You ought to look at it sometime. They do it around midnight on the 25th and they do it around, 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 around midnight. There are lots of things that are centered around Christmas. The birth of Christ that the world has done that the Bible does not teach. Some say Christmas means that Christ was born December the 25th. Well, who said it? Who said it? Did Jesus say it? Did God say it? Did the Holy Spirit say it? Or did man say it? The Bible does not give the date of Christ's birth. But he does, the Bible does give uh, the, the birth of Christ, the place of Christ, how it was done, and who was the daddy. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have to take no DNA. They didn't have to do no DNA. Because this thing was of the Holy Ghost. Isn't that right? The Holy Ghost. Now the Bible teaches all of this stuff. The Bible uh, uh, teach that Jesus was born of the, uh, of the virgin uh, named Mary. He was born in a stable, wrapped in swaddling clothes, laid in a manger because there was no room in the end. And we believe this because the Bible tells us this. Luke 2, 7 says, she brought forth a firstborn, wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. Because there was no room for him in the end. The Bible says nothing about December the 25th being the date of Christ's birth. I'm trying to separate the two. So you know what we believe in. We should believe in the Christian. We should believe what the Bible says. And as, as, as Christian, we believe in the birth of Christ and everything the Bible says about the birth of Christ. Paul warns us about judging people in respect of, of, of uh, holy days. He warns us about judging people in respect of holy days. Colossians 2.16. Listen to what he says in Colossians 2.16. Let's read that and see what it says, Brother Al. Let no man therefore judge let, you in let meat. Let no man therefore judge you. In meat. In meat. Or in drink. Lord have mercy. Let no man judge you in meat. Let man, no man judge you. Meat. See, in the Old Testament, they judged people by meat. There was certain meat you could eat, certain meat you couldn't eat. But now, in the New Testament, in the church, you can eat all the pig you want to and die. <laughs> Have a hard time and die. High blood pressure and all of that, strokes and all of that. You can eat all you want to. Don't let nobody judge you. He said, you can't eat your pig. You can eat your pig. <laughs> no, no, you should be eating that pig. No, you eat pig as you want to. High blood pressure, but we don't. <laughs> or in respect of a holy day. Or uh, in respect of a holy day. Don't let it, they have certain days that 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 you you have to do certain things. Holy days that you can do anything on, and they will you be judged because if you break the rule on the holy day. So he said, now nah, in the New Testament, let no man judge you in meat or in respect of a holy day. Read. Or of the new moon. Or of the new moon. They went about the moon. You know, you look at the moon and and uh, 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 certain things happen at moon time. You know, it's still happening at moon time. You know, sometime I can tell when there's a full moon. <laughs> By my counseling people, I can tell when there is a full moon. People act different on the full moon. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. How many people believe they act different? Don't, your, your husband probably act different on the full moon. Your wife act different on the full moon. Somebody said, uh -huh, I understand now. Wife start acting crazy. Wife and husband start acting crazy. Just go out and look at it. See what the moon is. Read on. Let no man judge you. Or of the Sabbath day. Or the Sabbath day. In other words, the Sabbath has passed now. 
You know, you, 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 the Sabbath day, don't, 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 don't judge. Don't let no man judge you with that. Read on. Which are a shadow of things to come. With a shadow of things to come. But the body is the body of, is of Christ. Christ. The 25th day of December is a, is a holiday set aside by man. It's a holiday. Not a holy day, but a holiday. We recognize it as a holiday. Let me hear you say holiday. Let me hear you say holiday. It's not a holy day, but it's a what? Holiday. Uh, Jesus said, and uh, Matthew Luke 25, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be Caesar's, and unto God the things that be of God. It was the government. It was the Caesar. It was the religious uh, organization, and the and the and the government recognized this, and so therefore that's Caesar. That's Caesar day, the twenty fifth day. But 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 render that unto Caesar, but let render unto God that was of God. Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary, Bethlehem, and the Bible tells us, laid in a manger, uh, wrapped in swaddling and clothes. That is God. We get into trouble with God when we start recognizing and treating holidays as holy days. Treating holidays as holy days. You see, uh, uh, we got to find in, in, in that, that, that there's a difference between a holiday and a holy day. The holiday that God has set aside in, in the Bible, uh, 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 the, the, the holy day, the holy day that he set aside is the first day of the week. This is a holy day here. This is a holy day. Uh, Christ's death, burial, and resurrection is to be recognized on this day. This day was set aside for worship and to take the Lord's Supper and to commemorate his death, burial, and resurrection. Acts 20 and 7, the scripture says, and upon the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul preached unto them, and ready to depart on tomorrow, and he continued his speech until midnight. And then Paul said in 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 26, for I received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. And the same night in which Jesus was betrayed, he took bread, and after he had given thanks, he broke it, and he said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do and remember of me. And after the same man, he also took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, this cup is a New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink of this cup, you shall show the death, Lord death until he come. The Bible tells us the day to remember and, uh, and to keep, it, which is the first day of the week, the Lord's day. And we commemorate Christ's death. Burial and resurrection every Lord's day. We are to remember Christ uh, died for my sins and your sins for the sins of the world and he got up on the third day. Christmas teach uh, teaches that three wise men came from the east uh, when Jesus was born. That's what man say. But the Bible teach that it was no three wise men. He just said wise men. Look at your Bible. I don't know where they get the three wise men. Uh, uh, but the Bible says here, uh, when Jesus, in Matthew 1, 2, 1, he said, and when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea uh, in the days of Herod the king, behold, these, uh, uh, there, there, there came uh, wise men, not three wise men, wise men from the east to Jerusalem. You know, wise men are still coming to Jesus today. Wise men are still coming to Jesus today. You, you, you are wise to come to Jesus. Wise men came to Jerusalem and said, where is he that is born of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. 
Christmas teach that you give gifts to one another. Man said during this time of year, you give you give gifts to one another uh, and worship Jesus on December the 25th. The Bible teach that they gave the gifts to Jesus and worship him. And when they was come into the house, the wise men, they saw the young child, Mary his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frequency, and myrrh. Somebody said that was three wise men. The Bible said wise men. Man says, our Christmas teach that you can have your Christmas tree and lights in your house and celebrate the 25th day as the birth of Christ. Birth of Christ. Christ is born. Christ is born. Christ is born. That was man saying. The Bible teaches that we are the light of the uh, uh, we are to we are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. And uh, uh, not only are we the light of the world. Listen to what it said, Matthew five fourteen. You are the light of the world. A city that's set on a hill that cannot be hid. And then he said, Let your light so shine before men that they may. See your good work and glorify the Father and your heavenly Father. Now, now, let our light shine. Christians ought to be a light during this time of year. You ought to be a light. We ought to be a light on our job. We ought to be a light in our home. We ought to be a light in our neighborhood. We ought to be light in our family. We ought to be a light. We ought to be a light. Let our light shine by the way we live, the what we say, and the thing that we do. We ought to let our light shine. The heathens in the Old Testament, it has something like a Christmas tree that they worshipped. I want you to get this. I want you to get this because people will go running over there. They'll go running over there in Jeremiah the 10th chapter. Jeremiah the 10th chapter. They'll go running over there and trying to show you that that was a Christmas tree. That was not a Christmas tree. Okay? That was not a Christmas tree. In Jeremiah 10, 1, it says, read, hear ye, word of the which the Lord speaketh unto you, uh -huh. O house of Israel, uh -huh. thus saith the Lord, Lord yeah. and he said what? Learn, learn not, not the, the way, way of, the heathen, of the heathen, and be hold not. Hold it, hold it. He told, God told his people, he told his people, Israel, learn not the ways of those heathen out there. He says what? And be, be not dismayed, not dismayed at, the at the signs of the heaven. For the heathen are dismayed. For the heathen are dismayed at them. They, they were dismayed at the stars. They worship the stars. They, 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 they worship. Be not dismayed. Don't be like them, he says. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. They had a custom out there. The heathen have a custom. He says, those customs that those people had out there in Israel, uh, they, they, they was vain. Read. For one cutteth a tree out They were the going forest. out. They were cutting down a tree out of the forest. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen. It was the work of the hand of the workmen with an axe. axe. They went out there with an axe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they would cut their tree down. Uh, he said, don't you learn their ways. Don't you learn the ways of the heathen. Read. For well, they, they deck it with silver and with gold. They deck it with silver and gold. They go out and they get the tree, cut it down, put it in the house or in the yard, and they deck it with silver and gold. Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. They will fasten it with nails and hammers so it won't fall over. Read. That it move not, and they are... That uh, it move not. They don't want it to move. Read. They are upright as the palm tree. They are upright as a palm tree. But speak not. But they can't talk. They don't talk. They don't talk. They're worshiping this thing. They're worshiping this thing. And they can't talk. Uh, they cannot what? They cannot go. They need to be born uh -huh. because they cannot go. Uh, but be not afraid of be them. Be not afraid of them. 
For they cannot do evil. For they cannot do evil. Neither also, neither is, it also it is it them to do, to do good. good. This was not talking about a so-called Christmas tree. And some people try to say, you see, this is Christmas tree. But no, no such thing back in that particular time. But this was something that he told them that his people then don't be like the heathen. He was telling them uh, it, it, it was talking about a tree that the heathen, the world, were worshiping. And God told his people, don't be like them. Don't y'all be like, don't, don't, don't y'all be like them. In Matthew 15, uh, uh, Romans 15 and 4, it says the things that were written the full time was written for our learning. Written for our learning. Uh, so, if you can have a so-called Christmas tree and not be like the world, that you and the Lord's business. That's you and the Lord's business. If you can have your Christmas tree and all of that, that's you and the Lord's business. Ain't my business. I can't come and tell you what you can't put in your house. Ain't can anybody else tell you what you don't put in your house. But I can show you the scripture right here, what the scripture says, and you be the judge. You be the judge. Christmas teach that lie and that uh, here come Santa Claus here come Santa Claus here come Santa Claus you better be good come here boy hey come here come here come here come here, come here. yeah here come Santa Claus you better be good you better watch out Huh? What about Santa Claus? <laughs> you looking for Santa Claus? Nope. Huh? What you looking for? Jesus. Huh? Jesus. You looking for Jesus? Give him a hand. He said he looking for Jesus. <laughs> the boy said he looking for Jesus. He got better sense than some of us. He said he ain't looking for no Santa Claus. He looking for Jesus. Lord have mercy. Better be good. Go to bed early. Santa won't come unless you go to bed. In other words, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not proud. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He is taking it twice. He's going to find out. Who's naughty or nice? <laughs> Children are taught all over the world to fear Santa Claus. <laughs> you better go to bed, little boy and girl. Santa is watching you. <laughs> no, Jesus is watching you. <laughs> uh, you may not get anything from Santa Claus. No, it's going to come from Jesus to your mama and your daddy. The Bible teaches that we better be good because Jesus is coming to take us home uh, to, uh, to eternal life. The thieves coming not but to steal and to kill. But Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and that you might have life more abundantly. Trusting and praying that during the holiday season, that you will have an abundant life being a Christian, being set free, knowing that you don't have to get caught up in the traditions of the world. Songs that children should be singing. They sing the song. So they should be singing the song, Jesus is coming soon. That's what we need to see. Not, not, not Santa is coming soon. Lord, we are depending on you, not depending on Santa. We should bring our children to Jesus and not some false Santa Claus. They brought the children to Jesus in Matthew the 19th chapter. They brought them to Jesus. Tell your children the truth. If not, when they learn the truth and find out, uh, like me, when I was about 14 or 15 years old, that with no Santa Claus, you're disappointed. 
you have a problem. <laughs> when you tell them Sandy, tell them about Sandy, uh, they, they, they may start believing that, 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 that there is no Jesus, see. When they find out that there, that, that, that there is no Santa Claus, and you told them about Jesus, they may say, well, if there was no Santa Claus, then there was maybe no Jesus. What should we do? And we're going to conclude. Continue being a Christian during this time of year. Do the right thing no matter what others do. Uncle Joe, or Uncle Mo, or Uncle Bo, or Aunt Sally. She might get into her eggnog and get out of place, but you'll be a Christian. We can't drink and dance and party at company uh, at the company uh, so-called Christmas party like the other employees and 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 be a, 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 a Christian, be be what God would have us to be. We can't do that. Get your little gift. Go home. Thank you. Go, you go to the party. Go, 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 go. By the time you get your gift, you take off. Well, there's nothing wrong with gifts. It's all right to be different. That's what I'm trying to say. It's all right to be different. You're new babes in Christ. A new generation, a chosen generation, as we said, we are to let our light shine during this time of year. Don't be afraid to tell people that as a Christian, you don't observe the 25th day of December as Christ is birthday but we believe that Christ died that he was buried and that he was resurrected tell them why the Bible doesn't teach the other thing if God had wanted us to know he would have recorded it in his word listen to what he says in Deuteronomy 29 29 the secret things the secret things belong to God the secret things belong to God. And then he says, uh, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. We are not to add to God's word. Revelation twenty two nineteen, And I'm finished. Revelation twenty two nineteen. I'm almost finished. Revelation 22, 19. And if any man shall take away. If any man shall take away. From the words of the from book. From the words of this book in this prophecy. God shall take away his God part. God shall take away his part. Out of the book of life. Out of the book of life. And out of the holy out city. Out of the holy city. And from the things which are written in the book. And from the things which are book. written in the book. That says it all. We are not to add to nor to take from. There are many things that Christians can do. And not sin during this time of year. There's nothing wrong with families and friends getting together, feasting and having a great time because you got time off your job. There's nothing wrong with giving and receiving gifts. However, we ought to do it all year. Don't wait until this time of year. I give and receive gifts. And by the way, if you got a gift you want to give to me, don't say, well... Brother McClendon done preached this sermon. I'm not going to give him that. You out in that trunk and get that gift and bring it to me right now. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you the 25th day of December is not Christ's birthday. But give me my gift. <laughs> it's, it's, it's holiday seasons, right? Holiday seasons. So I'll send you a holiday season card. What's wrong with having a tree and decoration in your house as long as you're not celebrating the 25th day of December as Christ's birthday? However, go over there and tell your neighbor that got their tree and tell them we ain't celebrating 25th day of December as Christ's birthday, but we got a tree and they're going to look at you like you crazy. I'm finished. Is there anybody here that need to be saved? Anybody here that need to be saved? Become a member of the Lord's church, the church of Christ. 
You got the truth this morning. You got the truth and nothing but the truth. And you said, that's what I've been looking for. I've been looking for the truth. Well, you got the truth. So why not come and obey the truth? The Bible says that the truth shall set you free. You can exhale now. <sighs> and come on and become a member of the Lord's church. Rededicate your life. Somebody say, well, Brother McClellan, you shouldn't have preached that because my children are going to be asking me some questions. Just tell them the truth. Stop lying to them. Just tell them the truth when they go home and start asking you some questions now. Mama, Daddy, why you got that thing sitting up there? Just tell them the truth. You want to be saved? Do you need prayer? You need to rededicate your life. Do you, anybody here that need to rededicate their life? You know, this time of year can be very stressful. And, and people can get on your last nerves. And maybe you need prayer. You need prayer to go through this holiday season. You need prayer. If you're here and you need to repent, rededicate your life. And if you need to be saved, as I told you, hear the gospel, believe it. Christ died for your sin, was buried, and was resurrected. And come right now while we stand and sing the song of invitation. Will you come right now? Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? And are you fully trusting in his grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Well, are you washed? In the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of oh, the Lamb.